fix one relay and two more start to fail. At least I'm not bored. Excuse me, Doctor. It's a real juggling act, trying to keep all the systems down here operating in the green. This place might look shiny and new, but there's a lot of old technology in these walls. I lose sleep worrying about when the next blackout's gonna hit. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? First things first, how do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You are not a prisoner here. You may come and go as you please. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. So it's like every other wonder gizmo ever invented. When will you eggheads learn? Have faith. Let me show you how we deal with such problems. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Sure. We'll just fight our way through an army of homicidal maniacs and ask this synth to come on home. I didn't say it would be easy. But I'm confident that with a courser at your side, you'll have no trouble. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives.
guess it's clear after all. We're not alone. Enemy sighted. Don't forget to check your ammo. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, sir. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. What do we know about this synth, Gabriel? Designation B-592 is holed up in the shack on top of the upended cargo ship. He's probably got his best fighters with him, so we should plan on heavy resistance. So, are you ready to go in? All right, let's go. Right behind you, sir. I think we're being shadowed. Only a fucking coward. I thought I heard something new.
Right here. Right here. Got it.
Up a moment, sir. There's something important I need to tell you. I'm listening. I'm going to give you B592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say B592 initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code Gamma 71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. Jesus, what a mouthful. Then talk fast, sir. Just make sure you get it right. That's all, sir. Ready when you are. Nice. Nice. 
my gear, I'm being guessed to our agents just like me. So, made it to the top. Is the Institute so desperate for resources that it's stealing plunder from honest, hard-working Commonwealth gangs? B-592, initialized factory reset, authorization Gamma 71 Epsilon. What? You okay? Gabriel, can you hear me? Shit, they the did Raiders. something to him! Take them out! What the? That all you got? <laughs> Ready to read the claim sent B-592. I can't express how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. I'm glad to see you. If you return, require Sarah. maintenance, please I know file the a report with the facilities division. But I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. care what happens on the surface. You're in your own world down here. Because there are forces on the surface that could pose a threat to us. And only a fool ignores a possible threat. We might diminish that danger by correcting the false perception that we intend some great harm to mankind. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Just inside, sir. When you're finished here, sir, Father wants to see you. Say the word. Piper. 
Mm, time for some travel fuel. Want one? Your thoughts? Nat always said I was the lucky one. Seems this was right. I just wanted to check in, make sure things were all right between us. Blue, I'm on cloud nine. Things couldn't be better. And that's all thanks to you. That's all. Okay. Might want to have Night Captain K. Elder Maxon. Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. I find your ignorance awfully convenient. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the scents on that list. Is Quinlan absolutely certain? Proctor Quinlan validated the information numerous times. I can assure you, his results are accurate. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a scent they called M797. To make matters worse, He's gone AWOL, disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you and then swore you to secrecy. Had he told me, it would have been my duty to report it immediately. Hmm. Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. Isn't there some other way? Exactly. You're not willing to let off one innocent man? Absolutely not. My decision is final. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. Attention. Due to increased radar activity, all leave requests to off-base sites have Proctor. been temporarily oh, suspended. Night. I was told you were coming. Affected parties will Sorry have their leave compensated at the next available opportunity. That is all. What do you know about this situation? While I was decrypting all of the data you acquired from within the Institute, I came across a list. It appears that the Institute keeps exemplary records where their synths are concerned, including logging those that were reported missing. As I was perusing this list, I came across an image of Dance under the heading M797. A quick DNA comparison with our own records told the rest of the tale. I'm certain this comes as quite a shock to you, Knight. I'm sorry. He'll be missed. Doubtful. I wouldn't miss a synth any sooner than I'd miss a transistor radio. I was merely sorry that you'd been duped. No matter. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports and, unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. 
I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? How did you hear about it? There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxon's made it clear that we're to locate Paladin Dance, and if we find him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. Orders are orders. Orders are orders? That's all you have to say? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen! You're addressing a senior officer, and you will show him the respect that he's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. Change of heart, Halen? Just following orders, sir. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, sir. Well, if it isn't the man who revived Prime, the Brotherhood is in your debt. Now, did you have documents for me? Or perhaps you were looking to take up with a research patrol? I found some technical documents for you. These will prove interesting. I'll file them immediately. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember, the Commonwealth is an almost unlimited source for these technical documents. Check every building you explore during your patrols very carefully, and you might be pleasantly surprised at what you find. Scribe Halen? This way. This way. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? I haven't decided yet. Well, before you do, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. Why are you telling me all of this? Because someone has to before you rush off and carry out Maxon's orders without thinking about what you're doing. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being. Give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. What we have to do is not follow orders given to us by a lunatic. I'm not making any promises. You don't have to promise me anything. Just do what you feel is right. But if I know you like I think I do, I'm betting you'll listen to what he has to say before you pull that trigger. <sighs> before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was Listening Post Bravo, an old pre-war US military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated. And we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. 
Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now. Or if he trusts any of us at all. Have you collected any blood samples, Knight? Yes, here you go. I never thought I'd be so happy to see tiny vials of blood. Thank you. Here's some caps for the trouble. The Institute giving machines free will? My programming says that. I have another assignment for you, Knight. Virgil. As long as that abomination lives, he's a threat to the Brotherhood. The time has come to deal with him. Virgil is no longer a super mutant. His cure worked. He's no threat to us. What? That... that thing actually found a cure? Hmm. He can't be trusted. But as a human, he's trapped in the glowing sea. Maybe he can still be an asset to us. All right, we'll continue to monitor him, for now. For your service, allow me to offer you a new helm for your power armor. Wear it with pride. You've earned my respect, Knight. Not many can say that. Carry on, brother. Ad victorium. Shots and big mouths end up with closed casket funerals. much in the way of technology down here, is there? I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. Why didn't you tell me, Dance? Because I didn't know. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? 
Does Maxon even want me alive? How could you not know that you're a synth? It doesn't make sense to me either. It just feels like a cruel joke. I remember being a child. I remember growing up in the ruins, everything. I suppose they programmed that all into my head. I mean, I feel like I've been in control of my entire life, making my own decisions and determining my own fate. Even though the proof states I'm a synth, I don't feel any different than I did before. I still feel like a human. Why does any of this even matter to you? You're obviously here to carry out Maxon's orders. Does he even want me alive? No. But I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that this must be difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else. But that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. If you really feel that way, why did you run in the first place? The moment I learned the truth, I knew my life was in danger. I'm a soldier, so self-preservation kicked in. I needed to regroup and assess the situation. Once I got here, and I had some time to think, I realized I'd just made everything worse. I should have stayed on the Pridwin and accepted the inevitable. Like I said, I need to be the example, not the exception. I can't tell if that's the human or the machine talking. The fact that you're confused only strengthens my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. Is there any way out of this? We both know that this is the right thing to do. If you refuse to follow Maxon's orders, you're undermining everything the Brotherhood stands for. I can't allow that to happen on my account. If you're so eager to die, then do it yourself. If you leave here without completing your orders, then I'll carry them out for you. Maxon's obviously testing you, and I refuse to be the one who causes you to fail. If it needs to be done, then so be it. I've never been prouder of you than I am right now, brother. It's been a pleasure serving with you. Report, Knight. 
Have you handled the situation with Paladin Dance? Do you want his hollow tags as proof? That won't be necessary. Perhaps you should keep them as a reminder of your lapse in vigilance. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours. Including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. body's not even cold, and you're already dividing the loot? To the victor go the spoils. Being a part of the Brotherhood, you should learn to appreciate that sentiment. Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them, or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with, and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Ah, Paladin. Good. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding Dance has been settled, we can return to our primary mission. Do you think Dance's execution was justified? It's quite obvious Dance was a traitor. Or at the very least, a turncoat in the making. That machine's presence was endangering this ship and its crew. So it needed to be dealt with, swiftly and without mercy. Your actions in this matter were not only justified, they were vital to our mission. With all of that behind us, we can shift our focus back to our wartime preparations. I'm ready, Captain. Good because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat, the Railroad. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Why is the Railroad such a threat? Even with their relatively small numbers, the Railroad is a constant threat to our operations. They've already proven to be resilient against superior forces. With a knack for disappearing when cornered, worse still, they possess the capability to help Synths flee the Institute. If we intend to end the Synth menace, we need to plug the leaks. Destroying the Railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Do they all have to die? Absolutely. It's the only effective way of ensuring that they're no longer a threat. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the Railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. <laughs> Cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on Pam's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put Pam's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. Anything useful you can tell me about Pam? We have very little information on it. Its primary function is supposed to be using mathematical calculations in order to predict future events. I have no idea how successful it was, but if the Railroad's been using Pam for this long, it's got to be providing them with some sort of benefit. I'm sure Proctor Quinlan would be pleased to have it in his possession. I think that should be sufficient information to assist you on the mission, Paladin. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Ad Victorium, Paladin. 
If you find anything interesting in the railroad headquarters, don't forget to bring it back here. The promotion was well deserved, Paladin.
minimal casualties, Paladin. for programming instructions. Recommend interface type RJ11G.
Captain Kells? Well, it appears that the railroad won't be a hindrance to our future operations. What's going to happen to their headquarters? The location doesn't hold tactical significance, so we'll simply post a small squad there, in case any stragglers choose to return. I'm also pleased you managed to secure Pam, rather than allow it to be destroyed. We are having it brought to the Pridwin, where it will be installed in Proctor Quinlan's office. It's an amazing piece of pre-war technology that should prove to be quite beneficial to us. Speaking of pre-war technology, Proctor Ingram is putting the final touches on Liberty Prime and requires your assistance. Congratulations on another successful mission, Paladin. Ad Victorium. Engine turbines at 87% efficiency. Anson betrayed us all. 